Hello guys, this is my Hayward Fault Report. So, um, a short overview of earthquakes is, is that an earthquake is when the ground breaks or moves along the fault line or between two te tectonic plates. There are three diff different types of plate boundaries. Uh, you have divergent plate boundary, you have the transformation plate boundary, and you have the convergent plate boundary. The Hayward fault is, uh, if we go back here, it's it's a, it's a type of transformation plate boundary. And this fault is part of the much bigger San Andreas fault line system, which extends throughout the west coast of North America. Uh, this, this fault is well known for causing massive earthquakes. So why is the Hayward Fault so dangerous? Well, um, there is a earthquake scenario called Hayward of Haywire of earthquake scenario. It's a hypothetical um, measurement of like showing what, what what might happen to the Bay Area if a if a seven point oh magnitude earthquake hits the fault. There's going to be a lot of damage, including soil liquefaction, landslides, and wildfires. And since this fault is so dangerous, it is located in a very densely populated area, particularly here, as you can see with our mouses. The last major um, earthquake that happened on the Hayward Fault was over 100 years ago, actually no, 200 years ago in 1868, and it was a 6.8 magnitude. So what are some of the truth for this fault? Well, we could just look at our own campus, UC Berkeley. Uh, the Memorial Football Stadium uh, is sitting right above the fault line and its walls I took some pictures here. Uh, it is beginning to crack. Uh, there's other because, like, since the fault, since one fault is slipping one way and the other fault and the other plate is slipping the other way, part of the stadium is moving south and the other part is moving north. Founders Rock, which is um, a border found. Um, north of campus um, has similar rock types from the Jurassic period and tectonic movement from the fault pushed that rock up towards where it is now. Another um, evidence that we have of this fault is that Hearst Memorial Mining Building, which is a building uh, near Camp Bell Hall or Evans Hall, uh, it had, it was once one of the oldest buildings and it still is. It got recently um, upgraded with earthquake vibration, um, just just um, technology built for, um, to withstand earthquakes. Unfortunately, it's neighbor Evans Hall and other buildings in the Berkeley campus like Moffitt, Library, Stevens Hall, um, all, all at um, similar risks of collapsing during a big earthquake. So could this, could, could this giant earthquake happen now? And the answer is, you know, yes, it's overdue actually. Since the last one was in, in, in 1868, and earthquakes of this magnitude happens once every 100 to 200 years on the, on the Hayward Fault. It could happen anytime between now and 30 years. And that is why we need to be prepared and ready at any time for an earthquake of this magnitude. So what do you do to be prepared? So there are some things that you need to go over. 
You need to know who and where are your emergency responders to find help. You need to practice disaster drills with family, or if you are a college student like me, you need to follow um, the residential hall's um, instructions. You should also try to fix or repair or upgrade any furniture that could be a hazard of falling, like windows, closets, um, ceiling fans. You should always have an emergency backpack, and this should include your first aid kit, um, a high-powered flashlight, um, emergency whistle, medication, personal ID, um, some snacks, and and um, a small portable video. If you are outside of a building, then you should probably um, listen to building protocols or whoever is in charge, and you should try to evacuate to a safer location. Make sure to text loved ones or friends or family to know that you're okay. And finally, if you are in the car or any other vehicle, don't, uh, don't attempt to drive to an earthquake. Pull over to the side of the road, and if the roads are too dangerous to continue, go back the way you came and try a different route. Uh, here are some of the sources that I have gathered, mainly the top three here. And, uh, oops, sorry. And yeah, that's all. Uh, thank you for watching my presentation.